Number two, what is the total mass of hydrogen in each of the molecules? And then we have letter C. So in this case, we have to find out the total mass of hydrogen in C12H10O6. So I'm just going to rewrite this again, C12H10O6. Beautiful. Let's just center this. Beauty. Okay. Now, they specifically asked for hydrogen. So the first thing we got to do is figure out which element is hydrogen. Well, I kind of gave you a little hint down here, right? Hydrogen is H. H for hydrogen. C for carbon and O for oxygen, just in case you wanted to know those. Okay. The next thing is, is we got to find out how many of the hydrogen do I have? Now, I see that we have numbers next to every element. These small numbers, aka subscripts, will tell you how many of each element you have. So you have how many hydrogens, guys? Ah, you got 10 hydrogens. Good job. You got 10 hydrogens, 10 total hydrogens in this compound. Now all you have to do is take that 10 and times it by the mass on the periodic table. So get your periodic table, guys, out. All right, get your periodic table out, guys. <laughs> anyway, so there usually are two numbers that you'll see on a periodic table for each element. You'll see a whole number, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, all the way up to, I don't know, maybe like one, I think we're up to 118, 118. And then you'll have these like decimal numbers, but you'll notice that these decimal numbers are larger than the whole numbers. There's only a couple of exceptions, but for the most part, these are going to be larger than your whole numbers. Which one is the mass number? It's the larger one. The whole number is the atomic number. It's the number of protons the atom has and the number of electrons if it was neutral. But the larger number is the atomic mass. Now in this case, I'm going to give the unit of AMU. Technically, this number has two units. I could say that it's 1.008 AMU or 1.008 grams per mole. But since they asked for mass, um, I'm going to go with AMU because it's atomic mass unit, AMU, atomic mass unit. Just know that this number can vary slightly uh, depending on what periodic table you use. So don't be you know, afraid that your number isn't matching mine. Could be different. So now all we have to do is just take that number and times it by how many I have. So in this case, I have 10. So 10 times 1.008 AMU. And that's the total mass. So 10.08 AMU. And yeah, just to, just to make sure, always got to calc it up, got to use the calculator. But yeah, there you go. And that is the total mass of hydrogen in AMU in this compound. And there you go. Guys, hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments what you thought. I hope I'm helping you guys out. So just let me know if, if you know, you guys are learning. All right. I love to hear from you guys. Keep studying hard. You guys got this. Chem is fun and I'll be here every step of the way. All right. You can do this and see you in the next lesson. Okay. Bye-bye.